Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The year 2022 belongs to Indian Navy all thanks to their immaculate planning and continuous impetus to make in India initiative because of which Navy has been able to acquire several critical assets which is going to boost their capabilities in the blue waters. So we'll start with the first major platform which is INS Vikrant. On 2nd September, India's first indigenous aircraft carrier was inducted which is the most important acquisition of Navy. The 262 meter long carrier has a full displacement of close to 45,000 tons built at an overall cost of rupees 20,000 crore with 76% of indigenous content. The integration of aircraft with INS Vikrant is likely to be accomplished by May or June 2023. Next, we'll talk about the submarines. The fifth submarine of the Pulitzer 25 Calvary class submarines were delivered to Indian Navy on 20th December 2022. She has completed all major trials, including weapons and sensors, in shortest time in comparison to the earlier submarines. It is expected to be commissioned in January 2023. The sixth and the last submarine of this class, Bakshi, has also been launched on 20th April 2022 and it is expected to be commissioned in 2024. Coming to destroyers, on 18th December, Indian Navy has commissioned second of the Project 15B class destroyer, INS Mormogaon having a displacement of 7,400 tons and equipped with BrahMos extended range missile and Barak-8 missile, it is the most powerful destroyer of Indian Navy with improved stealth features, advanced weapons and sensors and platform management system. The last and the fourth of this class, Surat, has also been launched on 17th May. Coming to frigates, the Project 17A or Alpha or Nilgiri class frigates are amongst the most advanced and lethal frigate of Indian Navy with improved stealth features, advanced weapons and sensors and platform management systems. The frigate has displacement of 6,670 ton and equipped with BrahMos and Barak-8 missile. Three vessels of this class namely Udaygiri, Dunagiri and Taragiri has been launched in May, July and September respectively. The next vessel regarding which we are going to talk about is diving support vessels. Having a displacement of nearly 9,350 ton and 80% indigenous content, two diving support vessels Nistar and Nipun built by Hindustan Shipyards Limited Vishakapatnam were launched in September. These DSVs are equipped with an array of complex diving support system, deep submergence rescue vessels, which can be deployed for deep sea diving and submarine rescue operations. The ships are also capable of conducting search and rescue operation and carrying out helicopter operation. The next vessel we are going to talk about is survey vessel large. GRSC in collaboration with LNT is building four large survey vessels for Indian Navy. Now three, which are Nirdeshak, Ikshak and Shandhyak of this class were launched in 2022. These new survey vessels will replace the existing Shandhyak class vessels with new generation hydrographic equipment to collect oceanographic data. The survey vessels has displacement of 3,400 ton and capability to carry four survey motorboats and an integral helicopter. The primary role of the ship would be to undertake full-scale coastal and deep water hydrographic surveys of ports and navigational channels. On 20th December, GRSC has launched its first anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft known as Arnala, which is expected to be commissioned by 2023. Ministry of Defense has signed a contract for constructing six of such vessels at a cost of Rs 13,440 crore. 
It is equipped with sophisticated sonar equipment, including a hull-mounted sonar and towed low-frequency variable depth sonar for detecting and intercepting hostile submarines. These vessels are not only capable of detecting submarines, but they can also detect mines laid by submarines and midget submarines. Now we are going to talk about the aircraft and this is the most interesting part of the entire induction program. The Navy has inducted more number of aerial platforms in the year 2022 than Air Force and Army combined. Indian Navy has inducted 16 LH Mark III helicopters, 4 P-8I aircrafts, 3 out of 24 MH-60I helicopters in India and three more MS-60 helicopters have been accepted by Indian Navy but are retained in USA for training of Indian Navy personnel. The remaining helicopters would be inducted by the mid of year 2025. Indian Navy has also commissioned three air squadrons in last one year. The second PTI squadron which is called INAS-316 was commissioned at INS Hansa Goa on 29th March 2022. Two LH Mark III squadron, which are known as INAS-324 and INAS-325, has also been commissioned at Vishakapatnam and Port Bear respectively on 4th July 2022 and 31st May 2022 respectively. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.